And welcome back to another episode here on the Hermitcraft server with me, Zenith. And can I get the rest of this intro out of the way before this guy explodes? Odes? No. And today we're going to be continuing our quest to perform feats of amazement. Feats that have never been done before. Feats that have been maybe not done very regularly. Or perhaps feats that should never ever even be attempted in the first place. And I think today's fresh advancement certainly falls into the latter category there because we are going to be trying to make music with these these guys. There's one down there as well. Okay, let's see if we can just do this the easy way, shall we? Hello, hello, boom. Here's some music, boom. Playing cat, join in. You're not... Okay, that just ruined the music. I thought creepers were scared of cats anyway. That didn't run away from that at all. But let's be honest, that was probably never going to work anyway. And I don't think that was the true meaning of the challenge. Perilous percussion that was originally suggested over six months ago now by Morgoth in the comments. Thank you very much, Morgoth. Um, we're starting it today and we're finishing it. Who knows? Maybe never play some music using creepers as musical instruments. As simple as that. Now, of course, we have the record disc and the uh, jukebox and things, but we also have a way of making our own more custom music with the very similar looking note blocks as well. And we can make some funky tunes. Oh, yeah, this is a cool beat. I, like, I might just leave this going on forever. And I think in its current state, I think it is going to go on forever, isn't it? It's never going to stop. Um, obviously, you can change like the notes of these and stuff. You can time them very, very nicely because they are completely redstone powered and redstone is all about timings and things like that. So, uh, yeah, you can make some beautiful, lovely music or in this case, some beat thumping mega tunes. But what you can't do is shove a repeater up a creeper's backside and make it explode using redstone, unfortunately. Or can you? We have a willing participant to help us test some things out. Now, I know for a fact if we chuck a repeater there and uh, do some redstone, that ain't gonna work. The uh, stuff inside of you does not work like TNT, unfortunately. Um, it's just never gonna happen. But I do know if we get a flint and steel, ha, if we head over here, you can manually boop, trigger a creeper. Boom, like so. Wow, I didn't even break the boat um, by igniting them with a flint and steel. And I'm hoping a dispenser could perhaps do that for us. Now, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here. We hit it and stand back. Oh, no. Whole creeper on fire. Okay. Wait, let me try a few more times. Is that working? That's not working. That is not igniting you. You're just very... Oh. Very sad. And this was the point where my dreams of playing a creeper like a musical instrument in a note block song were completely ruined um, in every every which way. But then I thought of something else, some other mechanic of creepers that maybe we could harness. The enemy of my enemy is not an enemy anymore, or it is a friend. And this is proven by, hopefully, this little demonstration here. In fact, can I do it? It's going to be really difficult to do. We've got to stay away from the creeper. If we open up these blocks, hopefully... Ho ho hello, skeleton. Oh, he can't even see me. Come on. Break. Break. Hopefully, we can get the creeper to accidentally get shot by... Like so. Oh. Bum. Oh, ah, ah. Okay. Right. That creeper is very mad at that skeleton now. Don't keep shooting me. If we break this, maybe... And we free the creeper. Free the creeper! It's so- it's gonna be so mad. Do you see that? He totally was just like, I'm not having any of that. I'm gonna explode your face. Thank you, Mr. Skeleton. But the skeleton is still my enemy, which means it doesn't really want to play nicely. We couldn't really time that whole explosion or anything. So that certainly isn't the goal, but the methodology is the same, which is why I've got a bucket of pufferfish. In fact, I've got a box of buckets of pufferfish. And these things, they hate everybody. I'm telling you, they are vicious. If we try and get one of these creepers here, you'll see. Pa. Boom. Did you see it instantly got poisoned by it? Now, it didn't go and attack it because the creepers were already on me. That's the trouble. That's why the uh, the first example there, we had to shield the creepers. Wait, did I lose my pufferfish? Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry, pufferfish. But hopefully what you did see and that that proved is that pufferfish, when they are dispensed out into the world, they immediately attack. And we can prove it right now if I hit this button. Instant. Owie, owie, owie. Wow. Yeah, they are instantaneously. And of course... That was just triggered by redstone. I hit the button, I took damage. So technically, 
Creep face, you will do the same. One puff bucket in we go, and then as soon as we hit this button, hopefully... Explosion! Oh, with a green stink party particle as well. And with this video showing me doing that four times, you can see they are all perfectly synced together as well. Music to my ears! And that's what's left to decide upon. The music! We need to have a perfect song that these creepers can play along with booming all over the place. And I think this right here, the 1812 Overture by Tchaikovsky, is perfect. Have a listen! Very classic. Classical song. I'm sure you've all heard this one at some point, somewhere in your life. And there is a very good reason why this is perfect, and it's because... The bang. You hear the bang? There's another? Right there. Those are actual cannons going off that were part of the musical score. They're, they're, this has been done before. Cannons going off. Creepers going off. This is the perfect song to do this whole thing to. I can't wait. And it's pretty epic as well with this awesome music. Yeah, this is going to happen. Let's make a creeper musical. Etho, hello. Hey, Zed. Welcome to my base. It's it's very bouncy. Very bouncy, like isn't it? it? Mm -hmm. Be careful of any kind of animal droppings or anything. There's all sorts of bits and bobs flying out of these things at all times. <laughs> when you say droppings, you, you mean steak and stuff. Right? <laughs> um, yeah, sure, sure. If that's, uh, <laughs> among okay, other those things. Kind of droppings. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken um, eggs. Exactly. Eggs, yes. That's totally what I meant. So I've brought you here today because I, I desperately I desperately need your help, if I'm honest. Um you're the guy. You're the guy that I need. Oh. Can you tell me what that is? Jukebox. That is incorrect, and you are worrying <laughs> me. <laughs> it's a no plug. I, I know. Absolutely. <laughs> you you you've touched a fair few of these things, am I right? Yep, quite a few times. Quite a few hours spent with them. Th this is very much what I need you for today. Um, if we quickly head down here... Whoa, mind the cat. Oh. I'm taking this note block. It's mine. <laughs> That'll get you started on the thing. Um, <laughs> I have, along here, a unearned trophy right here. Ha ha. Um, and oh. this is the one I would like your assistance with. And if we do it, obviously, you will get a trophy as well. This will be a joint effort. Ooh, okay. Okay, here we go. Perlis, Perlis, you, you had to choose an alterate, or what is it called? Alteration? <laughs> Alliteration, yeah. <laughs> Alliteration. Started episode 24, still haven't finished it. Play some music using creepers as musical instruments. Yes, exactly. Ooh. I don't want to just be using note blocks, Etho. I want, the, I want creepers to be singing their fine song of explosions um in and amongst the the music as as one of the instruments um so i'm hoping Ooh. you bring the song i'll bring the booms and together we can we can make a music baby oh snap okay yeah you got a a plan for the music and stuff already i do i do are you familiar with the tchaikovsky 1812 overture uh, classical piece of music because that song uses in real life like actual cannons as part of the like orchestra apparently i don't know how people aren't dying all over the place when they're playing this song but like um yeah so i thought hey creepers cannons right they're basically the same thing <laughs> sounds like a nightmare at a time but yeah it sounds like fun <laughs> <laughs> i think i think i figured it out and the key the key is this Pufferfish. Will they of, detonate on pufferfish? Bucket of pufferfish. You plop a bucket of pufferfish down at a creeper's feet, and I mean, like, yeah. look here. If I do it on you, instantaneous puffing, right? <laughs> yes. Right. So the creeper, they it hates that. It is mad, and then it just it wants to explode and kill the pufferfish, and then makes beautiful, beautiful music in the in the process. Over here. There is pretty much, like, this is like my, my back garden or my front garden. It's, I live in, like, a circle, so I don't really have a front and a back. Um, right, right. This is just my surrounding garden. There's a lovely flat-ish bit of ground here. I, I, what kind of size do you think we need? Large. Um, is this not big? This is big. Do you want it, like, lengthwise, or do you want it, like, all clustered together? Ooh. 
I, I wasn't I wasn't prepared to answer such questions. Um, I would say. Like, do you think we should move as the song plays, or do you think we should stand still? Oh, I I, I think question. we should stand still, if possible. Okay. I do think it's important that maybe we we kind of somewhat see the music, like the path that the the music is is taking. It's not all like completely hidden away. Okay. Um, especially as like especially the creepers. The creepers are obviously the star of the show, so we really want to make sure they're. There, at least the explosions are visible. I think you got a plan here. Good, good, good. All right, yeah. So, again, if you you want to get the note block started to to be put put in place, I shall uh, get the creepers, get the puffer fish, um, kind of tentatively set everything up, and hope it doesn't <laughs> all explode in my face. Cool. All right, you sleep there. You sl you think on the idea, and uh, yeah, I'll go start gathering creepers together. I guess. All right, let's do it. All right, so it seems like we have Etho fully on board, and I check out over here. He's already been very hard at work. Look at this. If they're all jukeboxes, I will be. <laughs> I'll actually be very impressed. That's uh, that's a nice amount of jukeboxes. I've not had a listen to it yet, but I trust it's all good. You wouldn't go to Beethoven and and, and read his first draft of anything, um, but it looks like it's getting pretty good. I think it like flows this way and then flows back here, and then it's currently up to there. But if it's got to go all this way, wowzers. Wowzers. So uh, very much like these note blocks, you just plug them into the redstone signal. We want to create um, a little creeper module that can plug in to the exact same system to be triggered at the right time. So I think the best place to do all of our experimenting here is down in the Z cave, as I like to call it. Hello, creepers. I'm, I'm going to need you very, very soon. We have a little demonstration set up here. So we have four note blocks at the moment. They boom, boom, ding. That fourth one there, they're a nice little timer. It's uh, full, full, three, so four, four, three. Uh, yeah, what's that? 11, 11 ticks between them all. Um, bang. Oops, I punched one as well. It's when this one goes off, that's when we want the bang to occur. So we need to figure out um, exactly when to trigger this bucket of puffer fish into a creeper that will be in this chamber um, at the right kind of time. Because that creeper is going to kind of sizzle sizzle and, and, and fizz a little bit before it explodes. So we're going to have to do it like we can't just connect, um, you know, with redstone like from here all the way over to the dispenser because then it's got to dispense, it's got to fizz, all of that stuff. Oh, hello, I think we have a willing participant. <laughs> we're going to probably have to pull it off from like way back here, but um, I'll do the experiments and uh, we'll test it out on a creeper. Excuse me, excuse me, come on, follow me. I've got a, I've got an amazing opportunity for you. You got stuck behind a bush. Okay, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Bushes can be tricky. Okay, in you come. That's good. That's good. You're very nearly there. There you go. Nice one. That wasn't so difficult, was it? No, no, don't explode. Okay. Oh, phew. Right, so let's grab our redstone here and hook this up to this one. I'm, I'm just going off for a guess here. I'm probably going to be completely wrong um, when this guy explodes. Luckily, this also dispenses water, which means he isn't going to be exploding anytime soon. I see you over there, skeleton. Are we ready? First test. Uh, <laughs> hold on a sec. What? What did you do? Puff face? I think that creeper might have been... Oh, hello, we've got a new participant. He's so happy to join. I think that one must have been um, injured before or something. Uh, oh boy, okay, wait a second. Wait your turn. New, much healthier creeper acquired now. Let's give this test another go. Dun, dun. Bang. Oh, okay, that wasn't meant to happen. That was pretty good timing, though. Like, I think the explosion happened... Um, on the fourth beat there. I'll have to watch that back, but that was pretty good, but I don't know why it exploded. Watching this back in slow-mo reveals a lot of different things. So, boom, there's the first one. Boom, this triggers him and you'll see he starts floating in the water now when he comes up out the water a bit. And then finally, you ready? Explode. So it's bang. Ding. So it's slightly early. We'll add a little bit more delay and a roof over his head so he doesn't swim about so much. Roof. Check. Extra delay. Check. Happy creeper. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Let's test this. Bing, dang, ding, boom. Yes, indeed. That worked a treat. Our little puffer fish maybe didn't think so. Can I get that without getting poisoned? Wow, I didn't get any stink there at all. Perfect. Yeah. All right. We've got an exact thing now. So if we want it on this one, it's actually what, like four, eight, 11, um, plus three, uh, 14, 18, 22. But then I guess over this side, we're sort of doing four more. So it's like 18 ticks. 
it's sort of it's sort of here between these two um repeaters if we could pull out a redstone wire slightly that's the one that we would want to hook straight up to our little chamber there way before um that it needs to go 18 ticks before that's a very good number easy to remember and um it leads me to my next point of I think we can make these chambers a little bit more interesting. The creepers now, they're just sat there in their little pen. What if they went slightly more in the upwards direction? Badoing! That's right, with slime blocking these things up, the plan is to ignite it with a pufferfish. Wait, what? Uh-oh, poor Doc. <laughs> ignite it with a pufferfish, then um, launch it up into the sky, and then have it explode way, way up there. So um, let me quickly run through the system that we have. We're still pulling off of the uh, the second note to explode ready on the fourth note. Um, first, we go through a monostable circuit here. That just makes it so that it's a one tick thing instead of like a, a button length or whatever it starts with. Have my buttons all exploded? I've lost all of my buttons off of there. Um, then we go through a three tick pulse, um, which an observer observes. And that is very crucial because this is where the pufferfish is getting triggered. So the first time this goes on, the pufferfish gets put out. And then when this goes off three ticks later, um, the bucket will pick up just a bucket of water, leaving the pufferfish dry in there. And that is very crucial because, again, we've had to remove the lid. Um, so we could have fixed our other one uh, before without having to put the roof on top, but this way the creep is not bobbing up and down at all um, because there's no water in there anymore. So that should make the slime block much more effective at actually boosting it up. Um, so that's good. And then we've just got exactly the right amount of delay um, until the slime block gets pushed up. So as long as there's a puffer fish in here, there is. I think we can test this. If I have a button on me, there it is. Let's try on this fourth beat. We should get a sky high exploding creeper. You ready? Go! <laughs> oh, it actually worked! And the stink's all the way up there. Can I? I want to touch it. Ah! Oh, zombie! I want to touch the stink before it disappears. Can I fly through? Can I fly through a cloud of stink? Huh. Oh no! Oh, the stink vanished! You'll also see that the glass got pulled down here on this module. We'll replace that with obsidian so it doesn't stick as well. But this. Ha! Is our own little creeper launching timed perfectly explosion module. We just need to add these into Etho's noteblock redstone um, at just the right times. And then beautiful music will occur. Or not. Apparently, if pufferfish and creepers would have their own way. They're so stupid. I hate them. I hate them to with a passion. <laughs> All I'm trying to do is make them blow up. And this is how they repay me. <sighs> Basically, you can see lots of progress has been made. This is days and days of progress now from both Etho and I. Um, and we're almost there. But what I found in a lot of my testing is sometimes when you put a creeper and a puffer fish in the same little chamber together, most of the time, what we want is the creeper to go straight up vertical and the puffer fish kind of gets pushed off to the side. So the creeper explodes up there. What happens very rarely, sometimes I'm not sure why, maybe it's depending on if the creeper or the puffer fish was born first or something. Sometimes the puffer fish goes straight up and the creeper kind of just like goes and falls over here and explodes a whole bunch of stuff and it's a whole mess and horrible and oh, it's it's terrible. So we've had to kind of downgrade. There are 24 creeper explosions that are going to happen as part of this song. 23 of them are going to be these very, very simple, safe, still very cool explosion modules. But over here, the 24th, the final note, the big shebang is going to be something special, something extra special. In fact, not just any old creeper, very, very special special creeper as well um, and that will be flung up in the air hopefully because even if it doesn't and it decides to break um, then it will still be a fun big explosion for the final bit so uh, you'll see here what we've got Etho has made three beautiful music tracks so for instance one two three they're all playing in synchronicity together and they go all the way around all the way around all the way around whoop, 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 and they end over here Sounds very cool. We're not going to have a listen to it until uh, the final instrument is in. But if we head down underneath, you'll see exactly ha, where's the hole here. Boom. This is what I've been busy working on. This is an exact replica of Etho's timings here. So like above this rep repeater, there is another repeater that is on a tick and then one tick and then two ticks, two ticks, two ticks, one tick, one tick. This matches perfectly. So then what I've gone and done is all of these pillars the little uh, little torch towers over the corners, these lead up to one of the pufferfish triggerers. So like at this point in the song, we want to trigger an explosion. Bam, exactly there. 
right? So then you're thinking, well, there's a bit of delay. And then even once it reaches the the, the dispenser at the top, the, the creeper's got to fizz and fuse a little bit first. So what we do is once I've hooked up this bottom row, we desync this bottom track down here. So Etho's top three tracks are all playing at the right speed. This one is actually playing earlier, in fact. Um, how much earlier? This much earlier. You'll see the delay going to the top ones there to delay the top song, and the one going along the bottom here isn't delayed at all, which means this all happens a little bit earlier, giving this time to go up to trigger the thing for the creepers to fuse. So it was actually very simple. Instead of having a delay for every single creeper, we just stuck one singular delay at the very beginning of the whole song. I hope that makes sense because I, I, I thought that was a brainwave. That was a really nice way of doing it. Um, and hopefully we shouldn't have any unnecessary explosions. Only rightful explosions. But I do believe after all the, the hardship I have had, we are nearly there. We have puffer fish in all of the dispensers. We just need to pop a creeper here, pop a lid on it so that he doesn't bob up and down on the water. Um, and name tag it as well so it doesn't despawn. Do that to all 23 chambers, and then we need to make a very special 24th chamber for the final note over there. And how am I going to get my creepers, you might ask? Well, over here in my mountain, I have built a little tiny creeper farm. Wait, what's the best way of me checking this out? Maybe, ha, huh, through there. Ha, huh, ha, huh, yeah. Just a very simple tr creeper farm, trapdoors above. In fact, if I, where is the button? If I push this, is it going to work? It's going to like trigger a load of water. A bunch of creepers should hopefully fall down. There's one. Hello. Hi. Oh, I haven't got my protection thing. <laughs> it's not automated or anything yet. You have to push the button. But I mean, like, there's what, like five or six creepers there. Boom. We can turn the water off. Head down here and I have a little way to uh, grab a minecart. Grab a creeper from a minecart. From it brings them out there and then we have to deal with it. So I am going to get busy now. Creepering up a bunch of capsules, popping a lid on them. And then we'll call back Etho and make some music. Hey, Zed. I'm very scared. Uh, as am I. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's some things that can go wrong here, but uh, I trust your redstone and your your creepers, and ah. everything's going to go smoothly, right? That was your first mistake, to trust me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, things are going to go... There's certainly going to be some kind of music made here. I, I don't know to what kind of degree it's going to be. I mean, I've dressed up all, like, composer-like here for, for this very moment, but... The master composer. <laughs> and you, you've dressed a lot more fittingly for a for an explosion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the audience doesn't know this, but Zed just spent like 30 minutes explaining all the things that can go wrong to me. <laughs> <laughs> he very quickly... And there's a number of them. <laughs> yep, yep. So let's yeah. hope this goes smoothly. Pretty much. But hey, this trophy, we need we need to get this the gold version of this trophy, right? So this this needs oh, to happen. Okay. This is this is what it's all about. I guess we shouldn't keep putting it off anymore. We should uh, start listening to the beautiful music. Um, should, are you ready to do this? I'm. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm. Okay. We've got so our. Excited. We've got our own little buttons. It's very uh, nuclear bomb esque. We've got to both hit them at the same time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> are you ready to go, Etho? On your count. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Drum roll. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's going. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh yeah, the silence. Build up. Build up. <laughs> Okay, we're coming to the end. Grand finale. Yeah! <laughs> oh my that's, god! <laughs> that's perfect, man. That was perfect. He Flawless. bounced up. What an instrument. What a beautiful... Oh Ethan. my goodness. Big round of applause to your wonderful note blocks there. That was... And and to you with your percussions, <laughs> amazing. 
oh well i've never i've never said that before i know it's been tried like tnt i believe you yourself have tried tnt music composing right? yeah even even that was a pain i don't know how you did it with creepers <laughs> well you know you just it's the it's the little composing stick you've got to um i, got to, I love got to... how the trophy's up on on top of the sitting there like it's it's just oh that's exactly it's, what I'm looking for. It's on for. the pedestal already for us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why can't I change? Oh, no. Oh, dear. I did a bad thing. There you go. That's what I meant to do. Gold trophy. <laughs> Is that my trophy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here you can. Take that. It's just yes. for you, Etho. <laughs> I'm going to be ordering a replacement for this. Um, yeah, yeah, I think you should. I think it's less less impressive when it's all pumpkin-y, but no, we'll, we'll get you mm -hmm. a nice one of these gold ones. You can uh, put it up on a on a shelf or something, wherever you, wherever you like awesome <laughs> oh man i'm so glad i'm sorry honestly so happy that worked that was hours of my life <laughs> that i will never get back nice composing zed thank you i was very i was very composed wasn't i <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and standing here in the smoking crater of beautiful music I say adieu or goodbye or some other composery thing like that. Thank you so very much for watching. That is another Z advancement added to the list and then immediately ticked off the list of all our wonderful Z advancements we have going on. Again, Etho, thank you so much for helping out there. Oh, and by the way, Liara, thank you very much for this wonderful, very dashing composer skin um, that really makes me look the part even if all I'm doing is exploding some creepers in the background as well. <laughs> but that is all for today, everybody. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. All those things really do help me and the video out, so I do truly appreciate it. And of course, a wonderful, beautiful, explosive thank you to my glorious patrons whose names are all over the screen right now, making episodes just like this one possible and getting some awesome rewards in the process. So thank you all so very much. But until the next episode, a good a bye. <laughs>